Now, in addition to actually working with the text inside of VI, you also have the capabilities of setting options for the VI program itself. There are very many options available to you, and setting those options can take place in a couple of different ways. You can change the lines inside of the EXRC file, and that will actually affect all users' configurations for VI. Now you can also change settings by using the set command in command mode. And that's actually a very easy process. In this example, we've basically said set number will turn line numbering on, or no number will turn it off. If you want to see any options that are available to you, you simply type set and you can see some examples. So I want to set numbering on. And as you can see here, it's actually going to break down a number for me so I can see the number of the particular line. Now this can be useful if I want to exit VI and come back to a particular location. Then in a scenario like that, I would exit, and then I might need to go back into VI on, say, line 100, and it'll take me straight to it. And if you take a look, I'm back at line 100. So having these abilities to turn on these different features is extremely important. Now in addition to setting options, you're going to run into scenarios where you want to get out of VI, such as exiting the program, or maybe saving and exiting, or any combination of those. And you actually have a couple of different options. So we can just use the Q, lowercase q, to quit if you haven't made any changes. Now VI will actually not let you exit using that command if changes have been made to the file. So if you want to quit without saving, you can use lowercase q with an exclamation point. Now if you want to save and move forward, you simply type in w. If you want to save and quit, you type in wq. Now in addition to those methods of quitting, there's a few more. We can also force saves using wq exclamation point. And in addition, you can use the lowercase x command or shift zz. So if we go back into our text file, I can simply type x into the command line. Now in order to gain access to sending commands, you have to use a colon. So I type that in, and then any commands here that I want to use are available to me. If I want to see previous commands, it's just like bash. I can use my colon and the up and down arrow keys to go back and see what commands I've run. In this example, I'll run the exit command and it will take me back to the shell. So as you can see, there are many different options available to you when using VI. It's very important that you become familiar with it because you're not always going to have a graphical editor available to you especially in Unix-based environments.